Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, John, here to help you guys to work on some more games. So, you know one exercise that requires a simple piece of equipment that you can get at most stores that is incredible for benefits if you're looking to get abs that so many people completely neglect to sleep on. This exercise, as you probably have guessed, is the ab roller. It's a very cheap piece of equipment that you could probably make yourself. I'm sure you can find plenty of guides for it on YouTube. Where it's simply a wheel that is on a simple stick that goes on two sides. Just big enough for your hands. Just like this. I'm sure you guys might have uh, seen these in stores before and just thought, what could that even be for? How could that be a good piece of exercise equipment? Well, believe me when I say this piece of equipment is essential for getting the best ab workout you can. Well, technically that's not true, but certainly sounds good. And it is a very good exercise equipment for good exercise. So, there are two ways you can do the ab roller. You can do it either on your knees, which is much easier, or with your weight on your feet. So, if you do it on your knees, you have your... It's kind of like you're in a wrestling... Uh, you're in the bottom position. So, a guy just took you down. Well, that'd be where you're like this. Hands like this, shoulder width apart. Knees like this, shoulder width apart. I always say have your toes up, although you can have them down if you're scared of ankle picks, but, you know, having them up, you can get up much quicker, much more explosively, stand up, but with the ab roller, if you're doing it from your knees, you're in that position, you have your hands on the roller, grabbing the handles, and then you just roll out as far as you can go, get your arms straight, and then roll back in. And it's really an excellent exercise for developing core stability. And so since the new U.S. Marine Corps uh, fitness test standards are instead of uh, crunches, they use plank. This would be a pretty good exercise, honestly, for getting better at planking. Obviously, the said principle or specific adaptations to impose demands says, you know, technically doing a plank is the way to go. And, you know, planks are so easy, though. I don't think you should really spend a lot of time just doing planks because I could hold a plank for several minutes well at least three or four um even with the Marine Corps you know pretty strict standards of you know no inching or moving at all so for me you know I already have a perfect score on the plank but I'd like to get better at it still and uh you know I try weighted planks with my weighted vest but this is a good exercise and if you want to do it with your knees off the ground, so feet up, it's even harder, significantly so. And it's a pretty good exercise also for if you're a fighter and you do striking, you want to develop your abs to be strong so that you can take hits. So, you know, any ab exercise is good, and it's a cheap piece of equipment. I'd recommend it. I am not sponsored by ab rollers at all though, although if some ab roller company wants to sponsor me, here I am, please, uh, please do. Uh, anyways, yeah, so, ab roller, good exercise, good equipment, I would recommend it. When I, when I started working out, I got one, used it a little bit, but I stopped using it because it just sounds a little gimmicky, and admittedly, you can get a very good ab workout without these, but... You know, if you want to get a quick, short ab workout just at the end of your workout, or you want to work your shoulders with your abs, because it does do that. You know, in a way that might even be helpful for push-ups, planking, etc. I would recommend the ab roller. Anyways, thank you guys very much. I will see you next video. God bless.